Beur Blanc, Beur Rouge, two sauces used throughout the world in, in just about every kitchen. Sometimes called buttered nages, uh, but nevertheless, Beur Blanc and Beur Rouge. Two sauces that require evaporation of wine to concentrate the flavor. Again, Vincon, an all natural product, comes to the fore in the fact that you don't need to reduce it. So you start with shallots, thyme, a little parsley, sweat it till it's nice and soft. Instead of adding wine to reduce the wine down, choose your stock. It may be chicken, it may be vegetable if you're making a, a vegetarian dish, it may be fish stock. Add your stock, bring it up to the simmer, maybe one to two minutes. Whisk in your butter, bring it off, then add the correct dosage of either Vincon Red or Vincon White to give you a Beur Rouge, Beur Blanc. Again, controlling that beautiful natural flavour that you need when you're cooking and you want to showcase the other products that are on the plate. Got to go and look at them tomorrow, a, uh, another Labrador. Unbelievable. All right. Two basic sauces. Beur Blanc, Beur Rouge. All that's required to do now is add the Vincon Red or Vincon White. So for the Vincon White, we add 150 mils. And for the Vincon Red, we're going to add 200 mils. Check our seasoning. Oh. The Vincon Red, when you're making uh, uh, Beur Rouge, is, is better than any red wine. It, uh, the color is amazing. The flavor is, is, for me, personally, simply exceptional. After 40 years of cooking, it's amazing. A little salt. We'll salt them both. Quick grind of pepper. Check again. We'll stir that one. I don't need to taste the one because that one tastes fantastic. There you have it. Two very simple basic sauces. Beur Blanc, Beur Rouge fish, meat, poultry, you will have the confidence in your restaurant, in your kitchen as a chef, a general manager, a food and beverage manager, customers are going to have the confidence, but because it's halal and it's an all natural product, what could be better? Marinating is one of the most important things in a kitchen. It tenderizes meat, uh, imparts flavour to fish, poultry and meat. And with Vincon, 
what's very interesting is you don't have to cook the marinade. Vincong red or white mixed with olive oil, uh, root vegetables, some aromatics like juniper, thyme, bay leaf, ginger, star aniseed, all those flavors, whether you are from uh, Europe, uh, the Asias, uh, the Pacific, this is a marinating product is quite amazing in its ability to tenderize. So if you were making a marinade for venison, you would simply celery, bay leaves, carrot, two or three star any seed, some nice cinnamon, a little ginger, Time. and the all important things particularly for venison is juniper just crushed vincon and this is one of the only times where you can literally splash the vincon around a little bit within reason but its marinating abilities are quite phenomenal And now leave to marinate for 8 to 16 hours. Beautiful. You must remember when marinating using Vincon Red that it is four times the strength of wine. It's a food condiment, it's a concentrated wine. You need to add, from my experience, we always add sparkling mineral water or uh, a sparkling water of some description. It seems to add to the ability of the Vincon to make the meat more tender. If you add simply Vincon Red, the meat will work in completely, absolutely reverse. It'll become more tough. So you must remember, four times the strength, add some sparkling water. Don't forget. Jus, demi-glace, red wine sauce. Kitchens around the world, we all function with this as a basis to our cooking. It starts with a stock pot, bones, beef, veal, chicken, venison, water, Cook it overnight, eight hours, 10 hours, reduce it down. Then we bring it to the sauce making. Shallots, aromatics, you sweat it, you add wine in volume. 750 mils a litre, 10 litres, 100 litres, depending on what you're making. Here is where we make the change. We take the stock, the same aromatics, we sweat the aromatics, we add the stock, we reduce it, and then we add Vincon Red or Vincon White, depending on the sauce, whether it's lamb, beef, venison. We add it then. Thereby, we control the flavor of our sauce, and this is what we want our customers to taste. So all that's required now is simply to add the Vincon Red. So for 350 mils, say, why don't we say 500 mils of, of sauce, you're going to need to add between 50 and 75 mils of Vincon Red. This depends 
on how dark you want the sauce, what meat it's going with, and what the other flavors are on the plate. This product is quite amazing. I've won four times Singapore Chef of the Year using this product, New Zealand Chef of the Year. I've used it in so many different places. I've used it in the World Chefs Congress. I've used it in Singapore, Japan, South of France, New York. It is simply by far a product that has allowed me as a chef to really showcase what I'm good at. Vincon is a product that I recommend to every chef, without a doubt. You've seen what I've done with it. You've heard how I've used it and how I've won competitions around the world. My guests, my clients love it. There is only one choice for chefs, and that is Vincon.